This is Lucky Star Pie, World of Tanks console community contributor. Today's update brought us Hot Wheels, a long list of bug fixes, and a tank commander event. First up this week brings us out of the wrestling ring and onto a Hot Wheels racetrack. The garage sporting a hot orange track with loop-de-loops, a Hot Wheels eating shark, and racers. The Season Pass has two options for purchase. The 11,500 gold version supplies us with 25 levels skipped and the Bone Shaker. The pass itself offers several rewards including a few awesome crews and emblems. With the free pass you receive at level 48 the T3485M and at level 100 the Tiger Shark Spa Panzer. With the purchasable pass you will also receive at level 75 the Trailblazer Spa Panzer and at level 100 the Roger Dodger. If you head over to the store you can purchase the four remaining Spa Panzers individually so if you need all the variants you can definitely do so. The Roger Dodger and the Bone Shaker are also available for immediate grabs. With the collaboration with Hot Wheels we now have Hot Wheels crew chests and new emblems. You can check out on the website the different crews that are available. Additional new emblems have made it into the store an owl, a puma, an octopus, a panda and two different versions of bullet holes. Community contributors, community ambassadors, and the Reddit ambassadors will be receiving 2020 emblems indicating their contributions to the community. Keep an eye out for the emblems out on the battlefield when they are released. In adjustment news, the new season came coupled with a new list of bug fixes and improvements. The Bison T-103 and its unskinned counterpart have received a small 1 second buff to its reload time bringing it from 12.1 seconds to 11. Several maps received spawn and cap location updates, the list including Sunset Coast, Fisherman's Bay, Prokhorovka, Arctic Region, and Countess. Several user interface updates have been made, including the option to report a player has been added to the post-battle results screen, and a change in the order of in-game store items. Tons of bug fixes were implemented this round. When a contract expires, you will no longer see the contract has expired message every time you log in. On El Halaf, various rocks were updated to have the correct collision. Some rocks were removed from mines at G8, so tanks will no longer get stuck. The double animation for war chests has been fixed. The log tab no longer shows a gold cost when purchasing an item with a voucher. And the Conway and the Steadfast have updated and correct gun audio. For a full list of update details, check out the link in the description for the patch notes. In event news, on the 28th of this month until October 11th, there will be a Tank Commander event. The article announcing the event details how using the Tank Commander mode can give you rewards. You can still earn silver and XP for your Tech Tree Tanks and continue to earn Hot Wheels Season Points. Tank Commander mode is also compatible with a mouse and keyboard. When the event drops, it will consist of two parts. The first week from September 28th to October 4th will be Tank Commander Drill Week. The purpose is to train and practice for the following week. The second week will be Tank Commander vs. The World, a PvP global competition. From October 5th until October 11th, during the one-week comp, the top 50 highest rated Tank Commanders will be featured in the Hall of Legends every day following the first day of play for epic rewards and glory. The rating algorithm used to determine your rating is your wins times your wins over battles. The top five players will receive boosters, seven days of premium time, two commander's chests, one general's, and one hero's chest. The link to the event and the rest of the rewards is below as well. If you are unfamiliar with the Tank Commander game mode, Wargaming has a guide detailing the mechanics and controls. In final news, the Long Haul Challenge has been updated yet again. This time, it will last from September 22nd to December 8th. After earning 300,000 XP in multiplayer battles, you will receive a random war chest. The op is now lasting for the entire season, with players able to complete it three times. This weekend, be prepared for the Tier 10 ranked battles. Running until the 28th, new maps will be in the rotation and there are no class restrictions. On weekly deal this week, we have the AMX 1357 along with the Dreadnought KV-2. And in Mercenary Contracts, the Needle is available until October 11th, and the Stinger is available until October 25th. That rounds up the weekly news. If you don't already do so, check out my Twitter for giveaway announcements. This is Lucky Starpie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out there, Commander.